Next up, after recent pullback, the next stop for Ethereum is a new all-time high, says Weiss Rating. So uh, I'm very skeptical I'll write on Weiss, but they did call this last one. So Weiss Crypto Ratings noted that ETH is poised to print new record highs, emphasizing that traders remain overly bullish on the second largest cryptocurrency. And like I said in the beginning, I was on Alex Mascioli's show and uh, CJ from Market Rebellion, he does a lot of TA, which I do not do, uh, but he showed... What, what he did was he said, this is what the TA shows. Ethereum is going to uh, actually break through 400 and maybe even 500. And he talked about he was very bullish on it. So I'm like, great. I like that. And I like the fundamentals of what I believe in, which is everything's built on Ethereum and uh, DeFi is going crazy. So why not? Let's do this. So in a tweet on August 25th, U.S.-based economic research agency Weiss Ratings postulated that Ethereum had been overheated and was essentially due for a pullback. So that exactly did happen. So after that pullback, Weiss is saying this, the cryptocurrency is now aiming for new heights now the correction was witnessed. So they're looking at TA, but there's also another, another side of this, which is the fundamentals. Despite ETH's price stalling in recent days, the DeFi sector has seen meteoric, gro meteoric growth. And this is according to DeFi Pulse, the total value locked in DeFi protocols recently skyrocketed past 7 billion with Aave or Aave uh, being the uh, the big player. I think they had like over, yeah, it says right here. Ava is currently the largest DeFi protocol with one and a half billion in assets locked in. So here's my final thoughts. Everything's built on ETH and you need gas, you need ETH, you need everything. It seems like an ETH is doing everything that it's supposed to do, right? Decentralized finance, smart contracts. And the problem that I saw was the uh, incredibly high transaction fees. But now that OMG is in there helping with all those costs, uh, I don't see any sh any reason why ETH shouldn't blast off to 500 600 700 i only see good things for ethereum and it's why i have heavily invested into it all right that takes care of that that's our last story let's jump in and do the q and c of the day <laughs> 